What's up everybody, Gerald here and welcome back to the Short Sessions video down here on Willow at Dan Fishing Complex. I was about to do a piece of camera and show you where all the rods were. Um, I've just got here, got them all out and I was going to say I don't expect it to be as easy as the club pond was the other night. And the right hand rod's torn off straight away and we've got a fish in the net. So I'll show you that fish and then I'll talk you through everything else. no longer than 10 minutes again and we've got ourselves a nice little common here a little bit bigger than the uh, ones that we were catching down on club not obviously as big as a 15 pounder but a lovely fish nonetheless cracking a little common that fell to a cell bottom bait right up against the island which i'm going to show you now so let's get this fish back and show you all the spots and the rigs so this is the swim I chose to fish down here on Willow after walking around. We actually saw that bigger carp just in here along this near margin. The only other swim I possibly was going to fish was the one just over by the tree there which will be casting down past the island into a snag over there. But this swim here gives me plenty of water to fish. Uh, normally I wouldn't fish with three rods if I was doing a short session but as I've got the lake to myself and I've got my rod pod this time what I can do if I want to move is I can reel all three rods in, put the hooks through the eyes and then just pick up the rod pod and walk around with it. There's no one else here for me to disturb so that's not going to be an issue. The right hand rod which has caught us the fish came off this island here just out there it's very close to the island there. The middle rod is off the right hand side of the tree and then the left hand rod is in the bay off the left hand side of the tree. It's quite snaggy over there so I've got to be on the rods pretty quick if they do go off. But it's a good start to our short session down here. I've put 10 freebies in around each one because I don't want to put too much bait in. I want the fish to come along, find the bait, uh, be enticed by it and then take the hook bait rather than feeding themselves all up on the freebies and not taking the hook bait. We're just fishing to try and catch a fish. We're not fishing to be here all night and put loads of bait in and catch loads. We want to nick a fish when we can. So this is the other swim I was thinking about fishing. Now the reason I didn't choose this one is because I've only got 12 foot rods. Now casting over to this bank over here in this little cove over here would be quite tough with this branch. If I had 8 foot rods or even 10 foot rods it'd be a lot easier. I could maybe get down on one knee and fling a lead over there. And then I would probably would have put one over here on one a little bit further down the island. But fishing three rods that are 12 foot long in this swim would be quite tough. And I knew I wanted to fish with three rods so... I chose to swim down the other end because there's a lot more room, a lot more space and a lot more water for me to fish to. So it's coming up to 5 o'clock now and the middle rod's just torn off. That's the one that's on the right hand side of the tree and we've gone and got ourselves a lovely little willow mirror. Let's show it to you now. Hopefully it doesn't flap. It's quite lively still. Here it is. Just a nice little one. We're going to take some pictures and get it back. It's nice to get a mirror rather than keep catching commons all the time. So this is a nice little treat. Let's get a picture and get it back. So second fish of the session, nice little mirror on the middle rod which is off the right hand side of the tree. The rod's back out there now but it took me a couple of casts to get it there unfortunately. The first one when I cast it out and I felt it down it felt like it had gone in weed so brought it back in. Second cast I overcooked it a little bit and put it over on the bank and then had to pull it through the reeds. Um, and then the third cast it didn't quite go exactly where I wanted it so on the fourth cast I've managed to get it where I wanted. It's not really ideal you don't want to be casting too much and disturbing the area. Hopefully it hasn't ruined the spot, but it's there now. I've put 10 freebies back around it and we'll see if we can get another one. So one of the other things I do when I'm on a short session is I don't bring a chair. Now the reason for that is I like to stand up or sit on my bucket and watch the water. Now if I've got a chair, I'm more likely to sit and watch something on YouTube or just look at my phone. Really what you should be doing is watching water for any size of fish so that you can move on to them and make use of the time that you've got on the bank. Now, don't get me wrong, if I'm on a long session, then yeah, there will be times where I will sit and watch something on YouTube or watch Netflix or something. But most of the time, you want to be looking at the water, looking for signs of fish. So, don't get me wrong, there are some lakes where fish don't really show. Um, for example, the Camping Hill Syndicate that I used to fish back in the day, uh, the one with the video where I had the 30 out. Fish very rarely showed themselves, you'd have to really, really look. But if you look hard enough, you will find something. It might be some fizzing might be just a swell or if you're listening out and you hear one crash down the other end of the lake 
as long as you're sitting, listening and looking, you will find some sort of size of fish and just fish to them. If you see fish, if you're on a short session like this and one leaps out, cast to it. Fish to that fish. There's a fish right there, scared the absolute crap out of me. That was really close and like I said when we were doing the walk around, that's right in the margin, just here, right next to my rods. So, like I say, always be on the lookout for fish. There's lots of fizzing going on here. That could be a catfish to be fair because that's fizzing up the bottom. But yeah, so always be on the lookout for fish. There are always signs somewhere. So the time's 5.35 and the right hand rod's just torn off the one up against the island again. We're gonna get ourselves our third fish of the session. It's not a carp, but a nice little catfish. It's got quite a belly on it. There you go, let's try and get it all in camera. A nice fish, nice and slimy. Let's get a picture and get it back. So it's 10 past six, we're gonna give it another 50 minutes and I'm gonna get myself off home and uh, get in the warm, it's starting to get a bit cold where I'm in the shade, the sun's all on the other side, it's a little bit chilly over it. Uh, good start though, fishing down here on Willow, free fish, a nice catfish as well. Next time, and then when the video continues, we'll probably be in that swim that I showed you down there, just trying to see if we can catch some fish out of there as well, and uh, getting ready and gaining some more information ready for when we do the uh, down for rod race and try and catch a carp from every lake here. Um, but yeah, good start. So if you don't see me again, you'll see me in the next bit, which will be a completely different day, and I'll see you soon. What's up everybody, welcome back. This is the second session that we're doing down here for the short session videos on Willow at the Down Fishing Complex. It's a little bit breezy. Um, it's the day after the bank holiday weekend, so it's bank holiday Monday. There is no one else on the lake, but it has been hit quite hard over the weekend. Um, not a lot of fish came out, just because I think of the amount of pressure that was on here. So we're in the swim that we wanted to fish last time, like I said about the one on the corner with the snag, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got all three rods out and I'll, I'll run you through what's on each one of these. So here's the swim that we were looking at last time we were here and when we filmed. Um, the right hand rod is down here, just off these bushes and the snags down there. That's got a, what's that got on it? That's got a, a central cell bottom bait on it. The middle rod is just off the island in between this little stump and there. That's got a, a central cell bottom bait on it as well. And then the left hand rod is down off the island as well just down here and that has got a uh, spicy sausage pop-up that's been glugged in pineapple goo so we'll see what happens maybe we'll get a bite or two like i say i'm not expecting much because it's been quite quiet over the weekend no one really caught anything and uh there was quite a lot of pressure on here so i thought i'd jump on here today while there's no one here and just see if we can catch a couple so last time you saw us and we were fishing on here i think we had uh, a catfish and two carp was that the time I filmed I think it was anyway but I have actually been down here doing a few sessions off camera with my mum um, she's getting back into fishing so I've just been spending some time with her while she's here because she actually lives in France so it's nice to see her and spend time with her but she managed to catch a catfish out of here on a float rod um, I'll put the picture in now she's very happy with that and I've managed to catch a couple of other carp as well um, if I can find the pictures I'll stick them in now but yeah, we're back here and hopefully we're going to get one today. The weather is completely different from what it's been over the last few days. It's been quite warm, um, considering the time of year. And today it's quite overcast. We're actually due rain now for like a solid eight, nine days. So hopefully we can get one before the weather changes because getting back out in the rain is not going to be easy. But I'll see if I can. Uh, I've got plenty of other videos I've got to edit as well because I've been doing a lot of fishing on the, on the other lakes ready for some other videos as well so I've got plenty coming from me. So it's three o'clock, uh, it's been pretty quiet but as you can see the middle rod is on the deck, the net is wet, I can only mean one thing, there is a fish in there and it's not a bad one for in here actually so I'm going to get the camera all set up and uh, get the fish out and show you. Right so the middle rod's torn off been about an hour and a half run with the uh, central cell bottom bait run in between the little stump and the island and we've gone and got ourselves a lovely 14 pound common it's very lively it's quite a long fish lovely for this lake uh, not bad for an hour and a bit of fishing so let's get some pictures so it's now 3 40 we're going to give it another hour i think and then we're going to get ourselves off home only because uh, dan is coming down at six um, and he's gonna go fish these for the night. So what I'm probably gonna do is go home, put my gear away, have some dinner, and then come back down and sit with him for a bit. I've got work tomorrow, otherwise I would do the night. Um, 
but yeah, we're going to talk through some tactics basically because uh, I've got Steve's video coming out soon. I can't confirm nor deny that I may have caught a fish, um, but yeah, there's a clue. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, that video when it comes out, you'll see it's very uh, jump jumpy. Like there's about four sessions filmed into one video, so. Hopefully it's not too bad once I actually get the edit or it doesn't look too bad. Just so you know, in case it looks a bit different and a bit weird, it's because there are actually four different sessions in one video. But yeah, so an hour to go. I put a few more freebies back around all of them. Um, it's quite chilly now, the wind's picked up again and it's getting a little bit breezy and a bit cold. So yeah, like I said, one more hour and then we'll get ourselves off. So it's uh, 10 to 4. And the right hand rod, which was over in the snags over in that little bay over there, has just gone off. This one's fallen on that slip D rig, the new rig that I'm trying out that I've made, which I'll show you in just a minute. This one was also had the uh, essential cell bottom bait on it. And we're going to go ourselves another nice little one. I say it's probably about six, six to eight pounds. I'm not going to weigh this one, but lovely fish. Just putting on a nice little display for us there. Got absolutely nailed by the D rig as well. Perfect hook hold quite a scrap as well so we're going to get some pictures we'll get it back and i'll see you in a sec so here's an identical version of the d-rig that just caught that fish it's tied with a 25 pound uh, fox camera tech soft what i've done is i've just stripped the coating off down here so we've got a little bit more supple braid down the end simple loop knot an anti-tangle sleeve uh, we've got the quarter d-rig kicker on the size 8 hook here but i'm actually using a size 6 on the rod and then we've got a micro ring swivel just so that we can bait floss the bait on. It's really good, doesn't tangle, and it proper nailed that fish. So we might start using these a little bit more, but I'm still going to be using my simple bottom bait rig because that catches fish as well. So as you can see, the wind is now starting to pick up. It's starting to get cold and it's meant to start raining very soon. So it is half past four and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the rods in, pack up, get myself off home and have some dinner and then pop back down and see Dan when he's up fishing on Steve's, I think. I just want to say, you know, this has been quite a good little short session down here again. Two fish today, uh, three on the first one and then that little two hour session I did down here with my mum, I had a couple as well. So we've had about seven fish in probably uh, 12 hours fishing so that's not too bad going I don't think and they've all been quite a nice size you know the biggest being around 14 pounds as well and the average on this lake has been bigger than the ones they have been in the club pond so yeah been quite happy with that but there's another lake that I know I can now come down when I do my 24 hour challenge and probably have a fish out of pretty quick so yeah I'm gonna get all packed up now and get myself off home and uh, get this video ready for you and uh, I'll be back down here very soon but until then tight lines wet nets and I'll see you all soon.